Hey, welcome to 39 Below. This is Anthony coming back at you here with a video of a haul we had today. Uh, this is uh, my personal haul here, so I just wanted to go ahead and show you some of the items that I picked up and the reasons why behind it. Well, let me start off here. Grabbed a pair of Cellini's. I don't know if you heard of these. Johnston and Murphy shoes. Um, got these. They were just sitting there and throw a little polish on these suckers and these are a really good find. So if you happen to see that brand around, scoop them up. Also picked up two Christian Dior shirts, button downs. Um, this is another brand that I really have had extremely good luck with. Uh, our pickers do find this. Today was more of a specialty, consumer specialty pick is what I call it. Um, and what I'm going to show you, we got, if you ever see this brand on shirts, it's the Harley brand. Um, pick them up. These things sell really really well also i i found success in this here it's the cigarette brand and um and they make button down shirts and other kind of shirts um this was just a spur of the moment one here and then i got it for 50 cents it's a uh, universal studios men in black alien attack and the only reason i don't i don't do t-shirts but it did have the authentic tag on it which could definitely help sell so got that uh Came across a Nike golf shirt, another one, which is a specialty item. Why? Because golf. Right. Uh, picked up these Cotton Traders. I don't ever sell this brand, but all of these here, I believe, 4X, 4X, and I think this is a 5X. So because of that, um, I went ahead and did that. And L.L. Bean is not a specialty, but these were back back to back on the uh, rack, which they're both the same exact size. I'm going to sell that as a... Uh, lot of two shirts and they kind of have the fall colors they're long sleeve really good material they're in great great uh, shape the condition's good buttons are well uh, so yeah so I want to show you that uh, also keep in mind when we when we do look through the racks I go through every single piece of clothing and why I do that is because a lot of times you'll find one shirt and then you'll find two three four five one person he or she they dropped off a bunch of clothes and they're all the same size same brand and a lot of the people who give away the clothes they um, they don't just give away one piece so and then the people who are sifting through and they put on the rack they don't want to they don't spread them apart <laughs> they just grab them they check them out and throw them so that's how you can always find the same the same sizes and brands um, I didn't stop there with clothing I went ahead and picked up some boxing gloves um, got these for a couple of bucks, uh, ringside, and um, the bona fide hustler, he'll tell you all about these. Um, sporting equipment, I'm not a major player in it, but I think I'm going to start because boxing gloves do sell for quite a bit of money. Uh, backgammon sets, if you happen to see these, get them. Get them, get them, get them, get them. We have one person on our team, she solely sells these, and she's like number two on our team in sales. So, um, I picked up this here, Star Trek Collector's Mug. I have no idea the value. It's still in the box. Um, I, I just, what did I get it for here? Let's see. $2.99. I know we got a percentage off. So, either, either way, I do like it. I don't usually get into the Star Trek, Star Wars game, but if I see something that's inside of a box, I'll, I'll usually pick it up. I do like the vintage stuff, vintage toys. Um, check out this. <laughs> vintage Jack in the Box. See if it works here. Oh, barely. But um yeah, this this is gonna be one of those ones where I think I'm just gonna keep for myself here. Oh, there. So uh yeah, love it, love it, love it. It's awesome. Um yeah, it's 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 a vintage toy. I'm gonna start looking more into those. Um but the vintage games I do I do like. I do like, I do pick them up. I got the Super Master of mine, and I got a vintage Trouble game. I'm sure you all played Trouble, remember that? Yeah, so this is still in the box. It's sealed. I'm going to open it up and check it out and um, see what I can do with it. So, I got all that, and this is my secret weapon. I'm not going to tell you what's, what's inside here, but I'll have a video on that. That is a secret weapon to profit, and I will explain that in a video. You guys will love it. So, all right, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, hope this helps, and uh, I'll have some more up today, tomorrow, and the next day. Take care. Like and subscribe. See ya.